Summer is a time of year that many of you all love for various reasons. Typically school is out, you try to plan a vacation, and it's the perfect period to get things done before the fall and winter season set in. It's also a time when it gets really hot. Artem, you gotta hurry, bro, there comes another one. Like hot and wet. So what do you do when you need to cool off from the blazing sun? Well, you go to a swimming pool, of course. And while no pool is perfect, you'd be hard pressed to call a pool scary, right? Well, don't be fooled. There are indeed places in the world where these bodies of water can be terrifying. Here now are the 20 scariest swimming pools in the world. Number 20, Devil's Pool, Victoria Falls. Now, some of you may think that I'm pulling your leg by making a video about scary swimming pools, and you likely think that we can't possibly fill an entire list of 20 of them. But that's the thing, you're narrowing your vision of what a pool actually is. You may think it's simply a self-contained swimming area near a city or town or even in your backyard, but the definition of pool can be many different things, which includes being a natural body of water, such as with the Devil's Pool that you can find in Victoria Falls in Zambia. Oh, and when I say within, I don't mean that it's a simple little thing of water next to a river. It's at one of the highest spots on the falls. And if you're not careful, when you go there, you could die. It's called the Pool of Death because of the dangerous currents and undertows that are present in the water and the risk of falling over the edge of the waterfall. And to be even more clear on how dangerous it is, you're not allowed to visit this pool at certain points of the year. You can only access it when the water levels aren't overtly dangerous to people. Most people would recommend you take a guide to the falls so you don't enter the water at the wrong place or mess with some of the animals that live there. The depths of the Devil's Pool varies between the season and the water levels at Victoria Falls. During the dry season, the pool is typically about two to three meters deep when the water levels are low. That's right, when it's low, it's still about as deep as a human, so imagine when the water levels are high. And remember, you're at the edge of a waterfall, so while you can go to the edge and be fine, if you make one wrong move, well, they're called falls for a reason. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. In today's fancy topic, we have an interesting one to talk about because I'm going to take you down to the United Arab Emirates, where the nation has been doing its best to rebrand itself from oil country to mega popular tourist destination. One such attraction that they offer is the Al Ain Adventure, also known as Wadi, and if you listen to the promotion, you're going to hear them praise exactly how special and fun that part is, like in this excerpt from one such promotional page. The Wadi Adventure Park is a water park where you can enjoy rafting, kayaking, surfing, wakeboarding. It's located in Al Ain Emirate and has the world's longest man-made white water rafting channel. Now, all told, that doesn't sound all too bad, and who doesn't love a nice water park? But that's where things get a little bit tricky, because according to some of the people who have gone there, it can be a very scary place, and according to one review, they had to sign a waiver before rafting down one of their channels, which is very odd indeed. Then, as they went down the waterway, they kept bumping into rocks and ended up getting injured. So where were the lifeguards? Well, they were either acting slowly and getting to them, or they didn't come and get them at all when called for assistance. That is not exactly a good thing. Oh, but here's the best part. When that person posted the review of the adventure park, the park not only responded, but basically downplayed everything that they said, noting that they have never had a serious medical issue with a guest despite the fact that the review stated that they might have broken bones on their ride and the park didn't help them out. So yeah, maybe you should think twice before visiting this park just to be safe. As always, you can comment down below using the hashtag fancy topic and let me know what you think in relation to what I just showed you on the screen. Number 19, The Cage of Death. Well, that just inspires confidence and safety now, doesn't it? The Cage of Death. Here's another definition of a pool that might have slipped your mind, 
because you can go into a pool just fine, so long as there aren't any creatures in there with you. Down in Australia, at Darwin's Crocosaurus Cove, visitors have the opportunity to go and take a dive with saltwater crocodiles. And before you panic and say, ah, there's no way a park would allow that, well, you would be right more times than not. But in this unique cove, the person is placed within a cage that protects them from said crocodiles, and then they're lowered into a containment area where those crocs live. That way, they can go and see them up close and personal, and wonder what they're like from a different point of view. The person in question will be there for 15 minutes, and the crocodiles will definitely make their presence known to you. Now, do I really have to spell out how dangerous this could possibly be? At their peak, saltwater crocodiles are the biggest ones around because they can get over 6 meters in length. And furthermore, while the person in question may be in a cage, it doesn't mean that the crocodiles couldn't get into that cage in the right scenario. Plus, what happens if that cage drops from the machine that's lowering it? To be fair, there are multiple requirements to enter this cage of death including being a certain age, being a good swimmer, and more. But that still won't matter very much if you're really having to go face to face with a crocodile. Number 18, Gap Yong's K26 Pool. Now, if you hear that someone's going to dive to the bottom of a pool, you know that they're only talking about maybe a meter or two at most, depending on the pool itself. Three meters if you're lucky, or perhaps at a community swimming pool. But what if I told you that, in Korea, they have a massive indoor pool that is only for diving? Would you be interested in something like that? Because if so, you should head to the Gapyong K26 pool. As the name would hint, this is a massive dive pool where you can go 26 meters down to test out your diving skills. That makes it the deepest pool of its kind in all of Asia. But some of you may be thinking, why would anyone dive in an indoor pool? Well, simply put, it's a lot more safe to an extent, and it would be a warmer and more controlled area. After all, the pool is meant to be deep, but not necessarily wide. This becomes perfect for those who are looking for a nice diving experience without the pressures, or are learning to dive and want a safe environment to do so. You can even get lessons within the pool to do things like free diving or going into deeper water. Now, there are obviously some dangers here. You have to be certified to go beyond 10 meters in the pool, which is important to note. And furthermore, just because you're in a more controlled environment, that doesn't mean that your equipment won't malfunction. Diving is dangerous overall, and this pool may just put you into a false sense of security if you're not careful. So, as in all things, be mindful of your surroundings, don't get too cocky, and enjoy the experience. Number 17. Marina Bay Sands Infinity Pool The next one is dangerous for the opposite reason of the previous pool. While that last pool was all about diving into the depths and testing your skills, this one, the Marina Bay Sands Infinity Pool, is all about going really high and testing your metal. Specifically, this is a resort pool that happens to be on the 57th floor of the hotel. That's right, this pool is over 150 meters off the ground. Plus, since it's an infinity pool, it literally has a sheer drop that you can go right up to the edge of, and people do it all the time. Now yes, as you're seeing in this footage, the edge doesn't go straight down and do a drop off, but it is close, and you have to believe that some people have been such idiots that they've wanted to go to the true edge. Even if they didn't, having a pool up that high and maintaining it is not all that much of an easy thing. The Marina Bay Sands pool has a huge undertaking, requiring more than two years of construction. The pool is one of the largest in the world, measuring over 1,424 cubic meters of water. Plus, the pool is over 150 meters long, so it's honestly just a little bit dangerous because it's so big and there are plenty of people in it at any given time. Even still, if you were to head there, you'd likely have a wonderful dip in the pool. Just be careful around the edge. Number 16. The Embassy Gardens Sky Pool Now, I'm going to cut you a little bit of slack with this next one, because not all of you will get the chance to go out and enjoy it. The Sky Pool is a swimming pool that acts as a 14-meter bridge between two high-rise buildings at Embassy Gardens in London. Now, it's 35 meters above the ground, 
and it was the first floating pool of its kind. It's for residents and is not open to the general public. So again, most of you won't have to worry about being in it. But those of you who will shall have a similar experience to the last entry. Firstly, it's really high up. Secondly, it's transparent, and you can see just how high up you are. And third, while there are high edges to keep you within the pool, they could be scaled if someone is dumb enough. And since this is planet Earth, there is always someone who's dumb enough. Number 15. The Queen's Bath the Queen's Bath is a tidal pool that sits on a lava shelf and is one of Hawaii's most alluring attractions, and also one of its deadliest. And I do mean that people actually die there. That's not a joke. While some people, like Tourist Board of Hawaii, will try to tell you that it's merely a pleasant hike to the Queen's Bath, you shouldn't be fooled by their words. People who have gone on this treacherous trail just to get to the tidal pool have allegedly had sprains, fractures, heart attacks, and other medical crises. And if you look at the fine print, they'll warn you that the trail isn't for everyone and that you need to check for certain things before even attempting the trip. So when you're seeing if it's safe enough for you to go to a potentially deadly location, well, yeah, that's pretty scary. What makes it dangerous and potentially lethal, though? Well, simply put, it's a tide pool. That means that the waters that rush into this bath can be fast and violent. For example, one time, a trio of men went into the bath after it seemed calm, but that was a big mistake, because a swell rushed into the hole and began to sweep them out to sea. It took every ounce of their strength to get out of the water and onto dry land, and just as bad, people have simply been sitting on the rocks of the Queen's Bath when the water rushes in and takes them from the rocks, potentially injuring them in the process. At least five people have there, so between the trek to get there and the dangers once you arrive, you may just want to go to a different part of Hawaii to have fun. Number 14. Hotel Hubertus Infinity Pool Now, at this point, I seriously have to question whether people just enjoy making ridiculous pools at stupid heights. Because make no mistake about it, there are stupidly high pools all over the world. The Hotel Hubertus Infinity Pool, for example, is one in Italy that is about 12 meters off the ground. Yeah, that's not as high as some other pools, but still, it's high enough. Furthermore, despite the pool being 25 meters long and way up off the ground, they felt it was a fantastic idea to make a square transparent panel at the edge of the thing so that people could look down at the ground. Why would people want to do that? To scare themselves to death? Oh, and when you listen to the architects talk about the thing, they're trying to sell you on the notion that you, the swimmer, are being weightless in between heaven and earth. Or perhaps you're just at a very high pool because, well, reasons. Now, I'm not saying the view isn't breathtaking, but that doesn't mean there isn't a little bit of danger when it comes to a place like this. Number 13. Arc Glass Bottom Pool Now, Canada... Who knew you could make a swimming pool filled with maple syrup? That's not what I'm talking about, but could you imagine if it was? It would honestly be a whole lot more entertaining, and I'd get to talk about the potential dangers of swimming in syrup. But since I'm not, we'll just watch a Mythbusters episode on it. It's also really good. The reason I'm delaying talking about the art glass bottom pool is that it's yet another pool in yet another hotel that is obsessed with the idea of being really high up and having a glass bottom so that people can see what's below them. The intent is to make people feel like they're floating above the city as they swim, but that's kind of contradictory to how they're, you know, swimming in a pool in a building. It's dangerous to give people such thoughts, and we'll just move on from here. Number 12. The Sunken City Pool now we're getting back into more logical things to call a dangerous pool outside of them being really high. And not surprisingly, we return to the United Arab Emirates to talk about another of the world's deepest pools that you'll only find in Dubai. 
Dubai is obsessed with having all kinds of world records for their constructions, so them making a 60-meter deep pool that you can dive into, well, that's on par with the nation's desires for expansion. And the key word? Dive into it. Because not only is it meant for divers to put on their gear and have fun in, but there's an actual underwater city to explore. Divers can explore abandoned sunken city apartments and play underwater pool in the arcade. State-of-the-art lighting and sound systems have been fitted inside the pool to create a different atmosphere. And this is not a diving experience that you can have just anywhere, because Dubai really wanted to go all out. As for the danger, there are some obvious pitfalls here, the biggest being that diving so far down can be harmful for people. Plus, since you're exploring abandoned areas, that also means there's potential for you to get your gear stuck on something and have it malfunction on you. Thankfully, the pool has plenty of cameras to watch all of the divers so that if anyone is in danger, they can be rescued. However, it doesn't mean that you should take things lightly, as that's what's gotten many divers killed in the past. Number 11, Nemo 33. Now, can you guess what Nemo 33 might be just based on its name? Well, that's right, it's yet another deep dive chamber for people to enjoy. And it was the first and formerly deepest indoor pool in the world. Others have then since surpassed it, including the one that I recently mentioned, but that doesn't mean that Nemo 33 doesn't still have its merits. For example, the reason it's called Nemo 33 is because it's 33 meters deep when opened, which helped to make it the deepest indoor pool at that time. Plus, it wasn't just a straight shot down to the bottom. There were other places that you could visit, which included some small spots with air bubbles while you were still underwater. You could even go up to some windows that would let you view a bar that was within the building, and I'm sure that those bartenders just loved the visitors that they would sometimes see. The place is still open in Belgium, and its warm waters make it entirely friendly to new and older divers alike. But as you would guess, the dangers of diving do still apply, so be careful if you go. Number 10. Heavenly Pool Singapore now, do you want to make a guess about what this pool might just be about? Yes, it is yet again, once more and forevermore, a pool that is really high up off the ground. This is like some kind of competition between nations and hotels, right? They just want to wake up one day and say, you know, that hotel has a really high pool. We should do the same thing. Well, no, you really shouldn't because not everyone's going to want to be in that high of a pool, nor should you skimp on other things because you think having a heavenly pool is a really cool and eye-catching thing. Furthermore, this is another place that used the pool as a kind of bridge, which automatically makes it a red flag for some people. Even those that have described the building on other sites note that this would be a scary pool for those who don't like heights. And yet, these pools just keep on getting made. And you know what? <laughs> I'm getting a little upset. Let's just move on. Number 9. The Blood Pool now, you can breathe a sigh of relief that this is not one of those high up pools, but for some of you, you may think that it's scarier than those entities because of the cool name and its aquatic body. It's called the Blood Pool. And for one basic reason. You see, blood is part of the human body, and it's vital to keep you alive. So in Thailand, they had a brilliant idea that if you swim in a pool of blood, that you would get healthier and, uh, <laughs> just kidding. The real reason it's called the blood pool is because of its red color, but the water is actually as clear as you would expect. The thing about this is that there are red tiles in the pool that reflect into the water, and so it's red to the people who look at it. Due to this, some people will legit refuse to swim in it. Number 8. Sanctuary Swala Lodge Pool now we'll go down to Tanzania, a place that many of you could easily point out on a map, right? The Sanctuary Swala Lodge is one of the premier destinations for tourists, and one of the pools on the site is the reason for that. Now, what makes this one so scary or dangerous is if you like being up close and personal with wildlife, it's not going to scare you at all. As you can see, the pool goes right up to a watering hole where all sorts of African animals migrate to. 
and it also means that you can see gazelles and elephants and all kinds of birds and more. That's a once-in-a-lifetime experience for some, and for others, they just don't want to risk provoking the animals, which I can fully understand and respect. Number 7. Ubud Hanging Gardens Pool now, why is it that people have to keep making these high up pools? Named after the famous hanging gardens of Babylon, the pools of this hotel in Bali are meant not only to give you a unique pool experience, but give you one of the best views as you swim around. This seven star hotel did not skimp on the design and position of the pools, as you'll be right next to nature and you can easily look across or even down to experience the variety of things around you. Yes, it's going to be scary for some, and who knows what might be in some of the trees next to the pool, but surely someone out there is going to enjoy it, right? Number six, the Cambrian Hotel Pool. The Cambrian Hotel Pool in Switzerland is one that's gotten the attention of many skiers over the years. Many praise it for its location to the slopes so that they can come in, cool off, relax, and get a good meal before going back onto the snowy pads that they enjoy. Naturally, when they go to such a place, they visit a pool within the hotel that is not only outside, but warm despite the settings, and it's incredibly high up. Who wants to be up in a high pool in the mountains? Apparently, the pool is connected right to a mountain, which just screams terrifying should something go wrong. Number 5. Deep Spot Now we're heading to Poland, where we are not talking about another high up pool, but another deep diving spot. Yes, I've talked about plenty of these already, but each one is honestly unique compared to the other. And the deep spot is no different. For example, the deep spot can go 45 meters down and serves as both a standard swimming pool and a free diving location that you can get training at should you desire. It also features a series of underwater cave environments with a blue hole leading downward to its deepest basin. Divers are invited to explore other environments, which includes a small shipwreck and simulated Mayan ruins. Plus, even if you can't drive, they have many tunnels that can take you into the dive spot and help you to see what it's like from a diver's perspective. So yes, it is scary the deeper you go, but the fun and potential speak for themselves. Number 4. Siam Park Welcome to Siam Park, a special water park that's located in the Canary Islands, and one that has quite the reputation, but in a good way. For example, it won a website's Best Water Park in the World Award seven years in a row. That doesn't just happen, given the competition that's out there. As one would expect from an award-winning park, it has all sorts of amenities for you to partake in and enjoy. But the one that will likely get your attention and your fears up is that it has the biggest artificial wave machine in the world. That means that you can go surfing in this park and be hit with some big waves if you're in the wrong spot. Number 3. The Deep Joy now you'll notice how all of these places with deep pools try and come up with a fun or twist out of a name of saying deep in the title. And like many other deep pools on this list, it was at one time one of the deepest in the world. The Deep Joy in Italy had Guinness World Record for the deepest pool in 2014 for the deepest swimming pool for diving. when it measured in at 42.15 meters deep. Fast forward to these days, and it's only the third deepest pool in the world, but still, it's a pretty good spot on this list, and it shows just how it's still one of the top deep pools to dive into. Number two, the Aura Sky Pool. Now we're going back to Dubai for the world's highest 360 degree infinity pool, and that's because this is what that country does. They'll in fact do whatever they can to make the most outrageous things in order to get the most outrageous world records, and then they'll put them on a brochure to lure people into the country. 
Now, apparently, this pool will soon be able to be visited by those who enter the metaverse. That's right, Mark Zuckerberg has gotten in on this madness and wants to use his dying virtual world to try and bring more attention to these pools. But what could we really expect from a man who wanted to fight Elon Musk in a steel cage? That was scary to hear. Number 1. The Holiday Inn Pudong now, I intentionally left the word pool out of the title for this last entry. And you want to know why? That's because this hotel, which is also a skyscraper, has a pool that is 100 meters off the ground, and it has a glass bottom to boot. And I'm not exactly happy about it. Not happy at all. Look, at this point, it would be pointless to say that this pool is scary or dangerous in some kind of way, because it's the same as all the other pools of its type. If you're gonna go in, then just go in and leave me out of it. That's all from the realm of pools and so why some of them aren't as fun as you would think. Were you amazed by how many pools all over the world could be marked as dangerous in one form or another? And do you think that you would take the risk and go to one of these pools? Let me know all about it in the comments down below. Be sure to check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you.